Hello everyone, Schneems here. Wanted to introduce you to a quick little trick for remembering where your ends line up in your files. So here we are taking a look at a user's controller that was generated via scaffolding, and we've got a whole bunch of ends. If you're not really uh, you know, super familiar with programming, it might be a little bit overwhelming, you know, exactly what are all these doing, especially when you get to the the very end of the file, it's hard to remember, you know, hey, does this end apply to this method or does it apply to the user's controller, the, the whole thing? So most text editors or most good text editors should have some way of collapsing these. Uh, so if you, in Sublime Text 2, if you hover over to the left-hand side, you can click these little toggle arrow, arrows and it will actually roll that up. So you can roll that up and roll up index. And generally, if I'm trying to figure out where and corresponding end uh, starts to, I will go to end, move my cursor over, and then go up until I hit the first toggle, and then uh, then repeat until, you know, I'm, I'm kind of done and everything's collapsed. If something doesn't line up, if it, you know, if it doesn't have an end to it, maybe you missed an end somewhere. Uh, so, in, case, in that case, maybe we don't, uh, we don't roll up. Uh, it's not flawless, it's not 100% perfect, but uh, it does help quite a bit whenever you are uh, getting things started. Also, this is one reason why I like keeping my indentation um, the same in my in my program. It helps me visually you know, follow these lines, and Sublime Text even uh, has this really faint line right there. Um, but uh, you know, if we collapse all of these, then it helps us be able to um, take a look and see everything that's in our user's controller. So in in fact, all of those methods do are with the inside of our user's controller. So if you get lost, if you find yourself maybe in an odd situation where you've got your methods you know, outside of your user's controller, if you just start collapsing things, then, then you should be able to pick that up pretty quickly. So that's just a quick tip. Thank you much. Good luck with the homework.